I still can't believe the contents of this box. It's early the next morning, as you could tell by the get up, but we had to wake up and shoot this video and show off this $4,000 box that I got yesterday from a connection that I made through the flea market. Again, build those connections. He doesn't deal with video games, he knows I do. So he hit me up. I paid up a little bit for it. Um, I won't get into the details of that because he, he asked me not to. But we'll go through this piece by piece and it is insane. Collection pieces for me possibly, collection pieces for you guys possibly. Um, if anybody sees anything that they are interested in here, please hit me up. Um, we ain't going for cheap, but there's some goodies in here. Um, so I'll just grab and go. Uh, first up, we got probably the lesser of the stuff. We got the Final Fantasy 13, 1 and 2. Nothing special there. Um, got a copy of Final Fantasy 8. Uh, greatest Hits. Complete. Grab this from him too. He had this sitting around. Um, this actually goes for like, I, just, I haven't checked it in a while, but that's a new like 20 bucks, all because of head coach that's in there. But, what is it? Uh, Madden, uh, 20, um, year collected edition that has, you ever see this, people want this game right here, this head coach. So if you ever pick, ever see that, pick that up. Usually it goes for cheap. A little bolo for you guys. Um, then we got Final Fantasy, um, 10, 10, 2, and, uh, 12. Again, nothing special there. Empty bag. <laughs> uh, one of the goodies, Xeno Gears. Uh, that's that. He had the prices of the highest one that sold on eBay. I didn't pay close to that. Um, but yeah, Xeno Gears, again, a very good one. Very clean, too. Absolutely beautiful. See, it has the uh, the sticker on it. Uh, this is the collection he bought this from. He bought it at a um, community garage sale. Picked it up, knew he found something that hit me up. Uh, we got Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy IX. We got Breath of the Fire Three. Again, the person he picked this up from loves JRPGs, and there are a lot more to go in here. Um, I guess we're just, I'll just keep grabbing from the top. We got a Lunar 2. This is super complete, has the pendant, has everything in it. I won't go into too much. I'm not going to open it up all the way, but it is super complete. Really great condition. Um, I bought a case for it, um, as well as most of these games in here. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a very good one. Breath of the Fire 4. Again, absolutely beautiful condition too. Like there is nothing wrong with these discs. The person that had these. Got a birdie in our yard. This is another Bolo. Sega backup uh, Ram cart. Uh, sells for about a hundred bucks. Um, very surprised by this. Uh, so if you ever see this in the wild, pick it up. May not be something you think of. Uh, this one is going into the personal collection, 100%. Probably my favorite Sega game, Shining Force 2. I actually just beat this on uh, the Switch um, through the Sega Genesis store. Absolutely love this game. So that's going into the personal collection. Uh, Skylanders Trap Team. Um, again, this sells for like 25, 30 bucks. Another good little bolo. Uh, another copy of Final Fantasy VIII and Final Fantasy Tactics. Then we got Final Fantasy Chronicles and Final Fantasy Anthology as well. Get some really good PS1 RPG titles. We got the map to Ooh. Ultima, which, you know, it's a little teaser for what else is in here. That's cool. Oh, where do I start with this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> this is, whew, 
just looking at this, I'm, I literally have goosebumps right now just looking at this stuff. That's how good this stuff is. All right, I'll just start grabbing. Take off the prices that he had on it. First up, we got Fantasy Star 2. And again, all these super complete with the map, beautiful condition. Oh, it, it, it really is hard to just, and hard not to tease you guys on YouTube. Next up, we got a beautiful copy of Final Fantasy 2. It is complete. I mean, look at those, get the flap action in there. People love the flap, wow. right? Wow. <laughs> it's a little inside joke from whatnot. I'm sure most of you guys that are watching this understand. The flippity uh, flaps. Final Fantasy 2, I mean, if I was a big collector, of especially, I wasn't huge in the Super Nintendo, so I'm not really attached to it. I only like to collect things I'm attached to, but like these would be collection pieces. And I can't wait for the, I get the protectors to come in for these. Oh, oh, geez. Secret of Mana. Again, absolutely beautiful condition. These are going to go for a premium. Fantasy Star 4. Again, beautiful condition. No issues with these at all. Going around a few of them because I want to save some of some of the better ones for the end. Fantasy yeah. Star 3. Save the best for last. Again, beautiful condition. I want everyone to take a shot every time I say beautiful condition. Oh it's gosh. Um it seems like they had more, but uh we got the Eye of the Beholder manual and a Final Fantasy 3 map. So I wonder if they had that game. Because it's not in here. But if anybody's looking for these as well, these are obviously will be for sale. Starflight. This action might stay in the collection too. I used to play this. Oh, and that is, yep, yeah, that is, that is good. That is the map. Who doesn't love these uh, posters? Let's open this up. Let's take a look at this. Yeah. Wow. Oh, but very just, cool. But this is what it is all about right here. I love these posters. They need to bring these back. Like how much does this cost them to make? A buck? I guarantee you they could sell them for 10 bucks and people would buy them like us, us oldies. Oh, what do I grab from here? Let's grab this one. This game I've never heard of before. Um, Wizardry? Is that Wizardry 4? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I've never heard of this game, never seen this game. Looks like a... Like a Shining in the Darkness type game. But again, beautiful condition. That's another one, by the way. Oh. Take a shot. Let's go with Lufia. There is not a thing wrong with this box. It is complete. You see the Manny in there. And Lufia 2. Again. Beautiful condition. Not a damn thing wrong with it complete and then another one of my favorite games we got shining force I already have this in the collection so this one might be an upgrade this is probably definitely be an upgrade but shining force the first one if you guys haven't played those games and you're a jrpg fan 
definitely need to check them out. Can you explain what a JRPG stands for? Um, I've never understood what the J stands for, but the uh, RPG is role playing game. Ah. I just hear them called JRPGs. So okay. if you can tell me in the in the uh, comments of how big of a dumbass I am, I would appreciate it. I'm sure average dude's gonna be all over that. Yep. Uh, we got Breath of the uh, Fire th uh, two. Um, probably the worst box out of the whole lot, unfortunately. But hey, I'm not complaining. It's still Breath of the Fire two. This is probably going to be going to uh, crash. I thought That's you were going to say Breath of the Wild, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> We got a Romance of the Three Kingdoms, too. Okay. Let's check out the... I always want to see these. The Posta? The Postas. Ooh. Like how, like, how hard is it to put these into games anymore? Yeah, it'd be cool with Switch games. Switch cases are perfect size for these. Mm-hmm. And Trey Zaya? Yeah. Is that saying that right, Goof? Trey Zaya? Trey Zaya, yeah. Tell us in the comments which one it is. Again, tell me how big of a dumbass I am. This one may stay in the collection too, just because of the artwork. I am collecting Sega Genesis games. Um, I never played this one. Again, I only uh, collect stuff that I used to play, but I'm also a sucker for good uh, cover art as my. You see by my uh, Switch collection. King's Bounty, The Conqueror's Quest. It's like Oregon Trail uh, graphics, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Got Mighty Magic, Gates to Another World. This is definitely Shining in the Darkness vibes right here. <laughs> Random Xbox One game. Atlas. But he had this and I figured I'd pick it up. Um, he got it off of uh, clearance, but it still sells for about 30 bucks like this. It's sealed. Sealed. Sealed! Oh my god. Brings the power. Looks like a SimCity type. Mm. Again, just, just beautiful. Would you just look at it? Land Stalker. This game looks like it would be fun. We have to pop this into the Sega Genesis. Try it out? Yeah. And then we got four more games. This one kind of made me laugh that he had this listed onto SimCity. Sorry, sorry, buddy, but yeah, that's uh, this is like a thirty dollars game, buddy. Never but, know. Hey, so in this condition, can't complain. Illusion of Gaia. Again, just the protectors can't come here uh, fast enough, so I can make sure that these are. I'm in good shape. I may actually have to call a song around and see if they have some because I don't want anything to happen to these. Could be in the Binghamton area. Go to song around. Highly recommend it. Then we got, still got the plastics, not a sealed, but Ultima, the false prophet. It's pretty cool that it still has the plastic on yeah. it. Uh oh. What? Oh. Display box only. Shoot. Oh no. Tell 
knows that it's not in there. No, it is. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh oh. That might be something crazy. Let me know in the comments. I got goosebumps from looking at that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, there goes our sump pump. <laughs> and then, last but not least, I can't believe you had four hundred dollars on this game. Final Fantasy. Still don't know what else he had because there's no way he. This is all this guy had, but absolutely beautiful condition. But yeah. Guys, make those connections with people because you never know when they're going to say, hey, Rob, I hit the jackpot and I want to sell it to you because, yeah, like I said this box is over, over four grand, I'd say, and I paid about half of that, if that, um, and he's made his money, I'm making my money, and I get to keep stuff from my personal collection, even if I break even. I'm getting stuff that's rails that you'll never find in this con condition again. So please make sure when you guys are at the flea markets, selling at the flea markets, which we're going to be setting up this weekend. So you'll see a video of that. Um, make sure you guys, you know, talk to people and build those relationships because you never know when they're going to call. I have a bunch of guys that do this for me and we're all happy. So yeah, we just wanted to shoot this video quick because I wanted to get this out because I'm still in shock over this. It's absolutely insane. This is stuff you dream of that you find at a garage sale. I wish I found this at the garage sale, but hey, I'll take it this way. Um, but yeah, uh, please follow us, subscribe to us, leave a comment about what game you are played as a kid or that you are most interested in. Um, also, hit me up on Instagram or uh, whatnot, Rob Clark fifty six twenty one. Also, if you could follow the goof as well. It's yeah. the goof on whatnot. It's the goof. Um, yeah. We'll see you guys around. 